Hey guys, it's Vladi with HV Build, and today what I want to do is show you how to replace a chip tile. Let's get started. Now, a lot of us have to deal with this. This is something I do at work. You know, a homeowner drops something, or in this case, this is my own house. You know, we drop something. And what I want to do is I want to show you how you can replace a piece of tile with ha having a bunch of fancy tools. You know, you don't need a big rotor hammer. You don't need a Makita or any of those kind of things. It's going to be a little bit more time intensive, but it can be done. So let's get started. Now, the tools we're going to need is a razor knife, a broom or a vacuum, a pointer must have a trowel, not so much. You know, if, if it's a small piece of tile, you can definitely pointer on some thin set on there and you're gonna be fine. A hammer, a, a chisel or a screwdriver, a, any of it works. You know, I have some chisels, but then I have some screwdrivers that work great as well. And a scraper. Now, a scraper is a must. I'll tell you why. So, let's get started on this. Step number one, you must cut out the grout around the tile. The reason for that is if you try to chisel out the tile right away, what's going to happen is you can chip the tiles surrounding, okay? Because that grout is very hard. So when you try to ch you know, ch chisel out this piece of tile, the grout can potentially chip the other tile. I've seen it happen many times. This is a step not to skip. You have to get it done. So let's get started on that. All right, now after we cut it all around, now it's time to chisel this thing out. Now make sure you start at the weakest corner. Now this corner right here already has a chip, so we might as well get started from that. Now guys, make sure when you're doing this process, you do wear safety goggles or glasses. The reason why is these shards right here, they are extremely sharp and I've actually had to patch up my eye because I had one of these things, one of these shards hit my eye and actually cut it, all right? And I still have a scratch on my retina, so put on some glasses. All right, I'll get into it. All right, now this is a base, best case scenario when tile comes out this easy. All right, now the next step is you have to scrape out the thin set. Now the reason why is if we take this new piece of tile and we put it down, the thin set is in the way, all right? It's just not gonna sit flat. And what we wanna do is have it sit flat. Now another problem we're having with this piece of tile is I gotta trim it a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my angle grinder right here to trim up the edges of the tile. The reason for that is because none of the edges of the tiles are the same, the sizes of the tile are the same. And the way we set this is all tight joint because I love the look of nice and tight joint. I hate big joints, you know, eighth inch is maximum that I do and smaller. Obviously, if it's saltilla tile, you go with that half inch or whatever it's gonna take, but I love smaller joints. So let me trim that up, then we'll scrape this thing out. All right, so if I try to do like this, it's gonna be really hard. So what you wanna do is you wanna start little edges, all right? Just kind of tilt it a little bit. All right. Okay, now after you have some started, it's gonna be a lot easier because then when you're scraping it, you just go a little bit on the new, see? You don't wanna start all, all the way and put a whole blade into it, then it's gonna be impossible to do. But if you can kind of get a niche and you know, just get a corner, you're gonna be good to go. All right. And obviously get a bunch of new blades. So you can replace it. The, the, the more blades you can replace, the faster and easier it's going to go.
Now, after this is all cleaned out, make sure your piece of tile fits. All right, beautiful. Fits no problem. Now, all of my stuff inside the house is either tight joint or 1 because I like it when it's small joint because then it looks really like wood. All right, if we put some eighth inch joint on here or you know, 3 16ths, it's not gonna look like wood. But this way, this tile makes it look like wood. And this is some cool looking stuff, you know. This stuff was got at Home Depot, nothing special, but it just looks cool. And you can't really see any garbage on it because of the coloration. So, next thing we need to do is mix up some thin set. Now, the thin set I like to use for floor tile is Versabon LFT. Uh, the reason why I like to use this thin set is because LFT stands for large format tile and what that's going to do is it's going to help the tile not to sag, okay? Once you put the thin set on and if the tile has some weight behind it and you slap it onto the thin set, it's going to start, you know, just going down, all right? And no matter how level you get your floor, if it's not a LFT or some kind of a medium bed thin set, the tile is just gonna sag and you're gonna have lippage all over the place. It's gonna be really hard to try to get everything perfect. All right, but if you're doing a floor tile and it's a large format, I recommend for you to get some kind of a LFT or a medium bed thin set or something that has a little bit of non-sag to it, all right? Now let's get that mixed up. All right, so we got a little bit of thin set here. We don't need much. All right, now I'm gonna hand mix it. There's no reason why I need to break out a bunch of tools. All right, so I just add some water and start mixing it. Just regular water, you know, nothing special. Now, when you mix up the thin set, you don't wanna mix it too wet or too stiff, okay? You want something that's, if you look at it, it's almost creamy, okay? You see that? It's nice and sticky, but yet when I put a piece of tile on it, it's gonna to bond to it because it's wet enough and it's not gonna sag it, okay? It's not gonna let the tile just go down and all my hard work of trying to level it out and make it so there's no lippage just goes to not. So make sure you don't mix it too wet. And also, if you mix your thin set super wet, you are taking the strength and the bond away from it, okay? Because it's not meant to be that diluted with water. So let's put some of this stuff on the tile. Get some thin set on it. See, we just, it's one piece of tile. We don't need much, all right? Here we got some good coverage. See that? And we place it down. Let the puzzle connect. So we'll take a little bit of grout. All right. Don't need much. Again, when you're mixing grout in a bucket, please do not put too much water into it. If you do put too much water, you make grout too wet. First of all, it just looks like garbage when you install it on the joints because it tends to ooze out or ooze down or wash out. It's just nonsense. And another thing what's gonna happen is your grout is not gonna be a consistent color. After we make the grout, all right, if you look at it, see that? You want some consistency like that and just apply it. I'm not gonna go and get a grout float for this because it's just, a tiny little grout job that I have to do. So just use a pointer. After you apply all the grout, you need to wash it. So make sure you get your sponge damp, okay? You don't want a ton of water pouring out of it. See how I don't have a bunch of water dripping out of it? And then you wanna First, wishy-washy like this, okay? You just wanna work, work your way around it. Give it these round strokes, okay? You don't wanna just start washing it right away. 
And then after you wishy wash it like this, wash your sponge and then you can do a clean wash, okay? Now make sure when you do a clean wash, you don't just run with the joint because you're just gonna pull the grout out again. You wanna do something you know, perpendicular to it, okay? Something like this, you know? I always like a diagonal stroke. Now, after you have washed the tile, there is gonna be a little bit of a haze. Now, you don't wanna to start touching that right away. You want it to dry. And maybe next day or a few hours, you can come back, like if you see a little bit right there, you can just wipe it off. It's gonna come right off because it's just some haze. It's not really gonna to stick to the tile, okay? Unless you have an excess amount, then it's gonna to stick to the tile. If you have any kind of suggestion of what you want us to show you or maybe some kind of a other video about tile or stone or any questions like that, we can make it. Please do right below and we'll get something like that going for you. Otherwise, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching SV Build. Later.